Hey gang. So uh, I, I've been playing a little bit of this Coral Sea uh, Campaign Commando okay? and I quite like it. It has uh, some interesting and novel approaches to dealing with uh, I guess this operational scale of campaigning and things like that. So I, I must admit I, I quite like the game. Now uh, I do have some Concerns slash issues with how the uh, resource points convert into supply points and then you've got to look at a table to see how much every different type of uh, activity, how much they cost in terms of supply and then use your movement points and all that sort of stuff. So it, it's, it's, it's a little, I don't want to say that it's fiddly because it's not really fiddly, it's just I, I find myself... And it's partly my fault, you know, I'm, I'm coming back to this on an, an irregular basis, but I find myself spending a lot of time looking stuff up uh, in that regard. And when it comes down to the combat, <clears throat> these, uh, these tactical chits are, are really quite interesting. And while they, uh, let's get some other ones out of here. And, and the, you know, the way that, I'm sorry, I've got really bad lighting here today because it's kind of early so I had to put the lights on. So you see I've uh, see these little icons on here and then you flip it over and there's something else on the other side. Sometimes there's nothing on the other side and that's part of the problem. Uh, the icons are kind of sort of similar. Uh, there are some for naval and some for ground combat and when you go into combat you only use and when you're doing naval you only use naval but they're really hard to tell uh, discern the difference between the two so uh, the previous owner put these little black dots on them uh, meaning I guess they were shipping or ground or whatever the case may be uh, but some have a ground on both sides uh, I don't have one here but there is one one or two in here which is really annoying. And and once again, when I'm looking up uh, how to resolve uh, some aspect of the game or whatever the case may be for the, for the combat, there's uh, a lot of looking up of tables. So it's not a table heavy game. It's not a bad game. But I think, I think the artwork on these tactical counters is Annoy is annoying, first of all, it's just not well done. Uh, but when I played it on uh, on Vassal, it was great because it was all taken care of, and Air Jordan uh, from BGG had done a great job with uh, you know putting the Vassal module together. Which leads me to my point of all this. I think what I'm going to do here is we're going to pack this game up, put the physical game away. Uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to play this on Vassal, either solo or with uh, with somebody, and uh, we'll see. And that will count for my play of the Coral Sea action in 1942 for chrono chronological walkthrough of World War II. Now, the the other, one other thing that that is a little frustrating is the rule book. It's just kind of it's just a bit of a mess to me, and. This game could be played with three clear, concise, well-structured tables. A table for resource supply, conversions, and usage of supply. A table for combat, which has been done. The whole the rules have been rewritten by by Judden. Really good job. But he's, they're blown out because it includes the three systems. It was blown out to 40 something pages and it's in all the charts and stuff, uh, tables and images and things. It's really well done, but it's too, too voluminous and wordy and you know, there's all this, it's just, you know, tons of stuff, right? Uh, and I can't be bothered going through it all to look stuff up and there's no indexing and there's no indexing in these rules. And these rules, you know, the game rules, the system and game rules, uh, nine pages long, right? But they're riddled with uh, issues. So I'm going to play this online. Uh, I'm going to maybe make up the tables that I think I need. And if I do do those, I'll post them up. But I may not put them in a format that's usable by other folks. I mean, just slap them together on a piece of paper. So that's my quick uh, 
update on this game. We're going to migrate to Vassal as the short version. Probably should have said that up front so you didn't have to watch uh, five minutes of me complaining. I really like this. Uh, when I played on Vassal with Edgen, it was a lot of fun. It's really interesting. There's lots of delicious choices to make. And I like the card mechanic and I like how the card mechanic works with the gameplay choices, whether you're gonna play a card or play on the map. Uh, you get, you know, doing that stuff. Really, really cool. Lots of interesting stuff here. It's just not professionally done. It's not complete. This game is not complete. It hasn't been uh, thought through enough yet. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try it if you wanted to think of this as a review. I wouldn't say don't try it. I would say by all means get it, but know what you're getting into buying it. I think you could probably play this on Vassal now and try it out first before you bought it. Everything else about the components are lovely, except for these tactical chips. I love, I love the components of the game. I like the map. Uh, I like how the cards look and feel and the structure of the cards and I like the quality of the map paper and I like the fonts on the counters and all the rest of it. I like all of that. Uh, the rule book needs quite a bit of work and some revision and the tactical counters suck. Uh, but other than that, it's a, it's a very, very, very interesting system and it's unique in its manner of dealing with uh, the interaction of forces and movement on the map and tying that all back to logistics. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. That's all I wanted to say about this for now.